Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hello, hello. How are you today? Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Somebody there. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Happy day, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Estamos listos. Very good. Ready, ready. This is a very rainy day. It has been raining since very, very early, right? It has rained completely all the afternoon. But good that by now it's it has improved a little bit. What about in your house? Is it raining where you live? Mm -hmm. Is it raining where you live? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay. It has been raining all, all day long. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's check attendance. Let's see who are here. We are, okay, about five and six right now. Let's see. I know because of the rain, it will probably be a little difficult, right, for some of you. But nice. Ay, ay, le vamos a dar un minuto para que terminen de, de llegar. Vamos a ver. Teacher, good evening. Ay, ay María. Ahorita. Excelente. Ay, ay. Hi, hi. Está llegando al centro, vengo apenas, eso está horrible. Está lloviendo, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, está lloviendo por todos lados, creo yo. Así es, confirmado. Imagine. Sí. Vamos. Va. 
ahí está. Eh, hoy sí, vamos a empezar. Alexa, Marcela. Alexa Hi. Ana Luisa André Present teacher Angie Melissa Angie Arely Arely Isabel Erling Irma Noemi Irma Mamá Carla Milena Present teacher María Epifanía María María Marta Presente teacher Marta sí, ¿verdad? María, ¿no? Sí, aquí estoy Ah, nice, nice, nice. María y Marta. Sí, ¿verdad? Marta también. Sí, aquí estoy, sí. <ríe> ok. Está lloviendo fuerte. Sí, me imagino. Aquí yo me alegré por un rato porque dije, wow, sí, llovió toda la tarde, <ríe> terrible, ha caído tormenta que nosotros habíamos quedado atrapados en el carro, pero ya, ya había pasado, pero ahorita se volvió a venir. Sí, igual aquí así estamos. Sí. Bueno, ojalá que nos permita terminar la clase tranquilamente. Sí. Mauricio. Present teacher. Excelente. Eh, Miguel Ángel, ya no, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Nancy Katia. Present. Oscar. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Nice, nice. Pero dime que yo creo y estaba muy baja de volumen. Ayer de Ay. las 11 de la noche me estaba viendo algunas cosas, entonces le bajé volumen. Ya, bien lejos. Y sí está lloviendo, pero no es como para que lo vea tan suavecito. Ven. Vaya, Silvia Evelyn. Presente, teacher. Silvia. Eh, Úrsula. Presente, teacher. Great. William Giovanni. William. William. No está William todavía. A ver, anybody entered after I call you? Present María. María. Ok, María, María. Very good. Good evening, teacher. Sí, Pena por metro, teacher. Oh, <ríe> Eso está horrible. Sí, me imagino, me imagino, me imagino. Salí a las cinco, imagínense, tres horas llevo ya de camino. Y basta. Y, voy para el pango. y lo pango. Sí. Así que. Y me va fallando la señal, me desconecta cada rato. Así que si no le aparezco conectada es porque se me ha caído la señal. Se me ha caído, sí, me imagino. Ok, thank you, teacher. <coughs> si tres pringuitas caen y, la, y el tráfico se alborota. Y hoy, que ha horrible, caído. Horrible, eso está horrible. Se ha caído una señora tormenta hoy. Sí. Bueno, ahí vamos a estar. Usted no se preocupe, ahí esté se conectada lo más que pueda, ¿verdad? Y aquí va, después logra escuchar o me pregunta si tiene alguna alguna duda hoy sobre, sobre lo que veamos hoy. ¿Ok? <coughs> 
Vamos a ver. Erling, ¿verdad? No. I saw you there. Yes, er teacher. Tiene calor. <ríe> ¿Verdad? No, no nada que ver, teacher. Me bañé en la lluvia. ¿En serio? Ouch. Sí, cayó la lluvia. Pero lo bueno es que hay, hay gente que tiene resistencia para eso. Que se mojan y no les pasa nada. Hay otros que son un poquito débiles para las tres gotitas que nos caen. Hay unos, hay unos que se retan, teacher. Y nos dos componemos, sí. Eh, hey, hello, André. Vamos a ver. Teacher, a eso se le llama pobreza. Amanda. Qué galán. Entonces quisiera ser pobre yo, ¿verdad? Si de eso se tratara de que que por pobreza él tiene un organismo como más defensa, imagínense. Gracias, Tisha. <ríe> Excelente. Ok, very good. Vamos a ver, Oscar, sí, ya me compresamos. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Angie. Sí, Ana Luisa, ya la vi por allí. No sé si está Angie. Angie, no. Así que está Angie. Arely. Present teacher. Arely, 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 Arely. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sí. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice. Irma Noemi. Irma no, ¿verdad? William. No. Va. Miren, que, que me alegro. Que sí faltan, ¿verdad? Un par, pero que me alegro que a pesar de todo se han logrado conectar. Que yo sé lo difícil que se pone cuando llueve así de fuerte como ha llovido ahora. Pero qué bueno que aquí están. ¿Sí? <coughs> ok. Bueno. Eh, today we are going to make a review of many things and a part of that is the vocabulary the vocabulary of of the unit C <clears throat> we are going to talk este July ya vieron una picha <ríe> oh my god me ha adelantado un mes imagine imagine a Juan Montaje pues sí, yo no tengo ese Okay, well, today, uh, <clears throat> sorry, we're going to talk about how to use, how to use zero conditional. How do you use zero conditional? Yesterday, we were talking with some of you about the use of zero conditional. This is one of the very basic conditionals. We have four conditionals. Zero, one, two, and three. But in this case, we are going to be talking about the zero conditional only. <clears throat> bueno. And the objective is participants will be able to complete some statements using zero condition. Okay, now check. I have a couple of sentences for you. 
using a vocabulary from the unit, a vocabulary relating, related to financing. Yeah. Liabilities. Liabilities are recorded on the right side of the balance sheet, while assets are listed on the left. Right? So we have this, the balance, right? Which will be liabilities, this or this? Hmm? We have liabilities and assets. Yeah, that's in the balance. Now, check another sentence. We studied the balance sheet carefully to see if the assets exceeded the liabilities and shareholders <laughs> equity. Más adelante, vamos a ver qué es shareholder equity. ¿verdad? That's another word or another term that we need to study. Okay, we studied the balance sheet carefully to see if the assets exceeded the liabilities and shareholders equity. Another sentence. She recorded the purchase of the new laptops as a debit entry. Purchase. You know the meaning of the word purchase, right? What does it mean? It's something like buy. Sissy. Sissy. Okay, something that you buy is a purchase. She realized that the total debits didn't equal the total credits. She realized. What does it mean, realized? Do you know? Do you know the meaning of realized? Se dio cuenta. Eso significa realize. No es realizar, ¿verdad? No que darse cuenta. Ella se dio cuenta. That the total debits didn't equal the total credits. So she had to check each entry all over again. You know that when you have this, this total has to be similar to this total. But if they are not equal, even if one penny is the difference, you have to check every entry once and once again until you find the error in your writing. But I have another sentence. In order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit it had been making over the previous year. In order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit it had been making over the previous year. Another one, our company has experienced a decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. Our company has experienced a decrease. What is a decrease? Hmm? Cuando va yes. para abajo. Disminuir. Ajá, en disminución. Esto es increase y este decrease. Va bajando. En vez de ir subiendo, va bajando. ¿Verdad? What is revenue? Who knows? Uh -huh. Ya vamos a ver si nos sale más adelante, ¿verdad? Nos van a hablar de ello. Okay. He couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So, 
he didn't decide to work as a freelancer for the time being. Okay, he couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So he decided to work as a freelancer for the time being. Nice. Who knows the meaning of assets? Here we're going to have the definition of some of the words that we saw in the sentences, right? What's the meaning of assets? Yes, yes. Activos. Alguna idea? Sí, así, así. What is asset? Activos. Mm -hmm. Okay, check. It's everything a company owns. Todo lo que posee la compañía, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Esos son los activos. Para los que no somos contadores, ya son activos, ¿y qué es eso? Okay. The assets are all the things that the company owns, including the cash, the accounts are receivable, like money a company is going to receive, and property and goods. When we talk about money a company is going to receive, is that uh, some, uh, sometimes the companies gives give the products right to another company, but they don't receive the money in the moment, right? But they will receive it later. So. That's why this is accounts receivable. Ya sabe que el dinero lo va a recibir, no lo tiene en mano todavía, pero ya es un compromiso. Ya la otra empresa ya le firmó algo que en cierto tiempo, en un mes, en dos meses, le va a cancelar ese dinero. Entonces, este es eh, accounts receivable. Y eso es parte de los activos, right? And when we say property, eh, entra... The building, if the if the building belongs to the company, or if you have some land as part of the company, that is the property. And the goods will be all the things that the company produces, for example, the products, right? The products will be the goods. Todo es son activos. Ahora, what are the liabilities? Pasivos. Los pasivos, right? Los pasivos, that's everything the company owes. Miren la diferencia entre own y own. Own es lo que posee y own es lo que debe. Todo lo que la compañía debe a otros. Por ejemplo, loans. ¿Qué son loans? ¿Se acuerdan? What's a loan? Crédito, préstamo. Un crédito, exactly. What is a mortgage? Who knows what is a mortgage? A mortgage is when you put your house in warranty. Or when you put a property in warranty, if that's a mortgage, right? Like hipoteca. Mm -hmm. Like hipoteca. Like hipoteca, it's a mortgage. So remember, the assets are all the things the company owns, and the liabilities are all the things the company owes. See? Questions here. No question. No. No, no. Ahora, what's a balance sheet? We have a big definition of the balance sheet. That's a document that records. Check. Aquí no es records, sino que records. ¿Se acuerdan que hemos hablado de estrés antes, verdad? Y ese estrés aquí cae en la segunda sílaba. 
that's a document that records a company's assets and liabilities at a certain moment in time. It will take, if we're talking about a public company, it also shows the shareholders equity, how much the shareholder the shareholders own. Estos son los socios, los que aportan el, el, el dinero que tanto poseen. But that, that is in a public company, in a private company. Okay, y solo se va a tomar la muy compa. Now, the balance sheet is based on the accounting equation. And the accounting equation is this. Assets is, is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. See? Liabil uh, assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. And then the balance sheet is important for potential investors because they can see how the company is doing. So they know if the company is in red numbers or if the company is, it's okay, ¿verdad? If the company is in red numbers, we cannot, uh, well, nobody will be interested in the company, right? Especially, the investors. Okay. Now, what's a capital? What's a capital? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of capital? Alguna idea? Con lo que se inicia, teacher. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's Cash, right? Cash. Cash and funds, but also machinery and tangible assets. Los activos tangibles. Eso es todo aquello que yo puedo ver, tocar, right? Esos son los tangible assets that can contribute to earning more money, like computers, uh, company vehicles, and etc. Intangible assets like expertise or reputation are not considered to be capital. There's, ¿Qué es capital? The money, the cash, right? The funds, the machinery, and everything I can see or I can touch. My reputation is not a capital. Because I cannot make money with the expertise. I cannot make money with the uh, reputation, right? So that's not considered capital. What is cash flow? You know that. What's cash flow? Mm -hmm. El cash flow, ¿qué es cash flow? Cash flow. El flujo de money. Money, money, money. Okay, that is money coming in and money going out. Right, so we have inflows and outflows, right? Money, com money coming in, money going out, that is cash. Okay. What is payroll? Do you know the meaning of the word payroll? La planilla. Uh huh, exactly. That's a list of all company employees and their salaries. The word payroll also refers to the total amount of money paid by a company to its employees, right? That's the payroll. 
what is a counting period? Mm -hmm. What's the counting period? Any idea? No. Accounting period. Yes. Accounting period. The time period over which financial statements are produced, usually a year, but not talking about time. That's the time period over which financial statements are produced. So you make a financial statement usually every year. Okay. Um, what is auditor? Auditor. 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 This Person with such, uh, no sé, como cosas irregulares o algo así. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's a person whose job is to evaluate accounting records in order to make sure they have been done properly, right? And to check if the company is being run efficiently. Uh, there are two types of auditors, right? The one that is intern, it's part of the company, and the one that is uh, from outside, the one that goes from Hacienda, right? To check if the company is reporting all the payments that they have to. Okay. What's a bookkeeper? Bookkeeper? Contador. Uh -huh. It's similar to an accountant, right? That's a person whose job is to record daily transactions, issue invoices, and complete payments. Bookkeepers are usually supervised by accountants. Es como, hoy, hoy ya no le llaman bookkeeper. Entonces, hay varios, varios trabajos que han cambiado, ¿verdad? El nombre. Hoy hay bookkeeper. Uh, they don't call it bookkeeper. They call it a um, junior, an accountant junior, right? That's the name that they receive, the accountant junior. So bookkeepers are required to have less experience than accountants, and they don't need an, a, a degree in accounting. So they can be a high school. They can have a high school, and that's enough. But, of course, they need to know a little bit, have some knowledge about numbers, right, for the things that they have to do. But mm, it's not like an accountant that should have more expertise and experience, right? Okay. Now, we're going to check this, uh, the vocabulary that we were talking about. And what you're going to do here is choose, choose the correct answer for each of these sentences, right? And decide what is the answer that we need for each of the cases. Veamos. Let's read. I have just... Mm, five sentences for you. So what you're going to do here is look at the sentences and choose the correct option. But I'm going to check to I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you the sentences to the to the WhatsApp. And we're going to see if we don't have, no, verdad, hoy sí creo que van a tener problema para irse a los grupos chiquitos. ¿Cómo ven ustedes? Sí. 
¿Cómo ven su internet? ¿No les está fallando para mandarlo a los grupos chiquitos? No problem. ¿O, o creen que les va a dar problema para entrar? No problem. No problem. A ver, vamos, pues les voy a mandar las, las sentences ahí al, al, al WhatsApp group. So you decide on what is the best option to complete each of the sentences, right? Just let us charge. You have the option. So that's easy because you have the option. Mm, you just need to refresh what you were talking about, the vocabulary that we were studying, right? And the sentences that we were using. See? Basha, mm -hmm. there you have the first three sentences in here and we have two more. Bye. There you go. I, I'm going to I'm going to send you to the groups. Let's see. So open the sentences then. Groups of four chicos. That's nice. Very nice, Katya. Early. A check is in the body symbol. It's nice. Erwin, check if you can enter. Sí, por eso. Eso fue la lluvia. Okay. They hide to because you document of auditor. Okay. Quiero ver. Ellos calificada para producir todos los documentos para producir mm, quiero ver qué era bookkeeper no. quiero ver no sé, yo, 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 no, pues no, no, no. Es supervisado por los contadores, dice el bookkeeper. Sí. Ah, pues entonces un... Quiero ver, calificados para... Para... Ah, pues un contador, ajá. Un contador sería accountant. Accountant. Ajá. Entonces, luego... 
It's important accounting document. So, eso sería un contable importante. Es ese sería el balance sheet hello you finish did you finish sorry tendría siendo como un auditor pues que dice ellos no serán contratados porque Janet eh, no tenía ese día como que ella no es contadora, ¿verdad? Conta. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Sí. Sería literal B, entonces. Sí. Sería an accountant. Sí. Sí, es un accountant. Ah, contan, ¿verdad? Va. Ahí sería la siguiente. Da. Está cash flow statements, balance sheets, income statement. Is important accounting, accounting documents showing a company's ascent, ascent Liabilities, liabilities, ¿cómo es? Liabilities. Liabilities. Liabilities and mm. uh, hours. Hours, oh. equity. And the owner's equity. 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 <laughs> Entonces. Sería el balance. Balance uh -huh. sheet. Balance sheet. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. The balance sheet is an important account de documentos. Sí. De la compañía. Pero... Ajá, sí. Que muestra la compañía los, los activos y los pasivos de, de la compañía. Ah, ok. Vaya, tenemos entonces dos y las últimas dos. Dale. The auditor was looking at Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Teacher, vale, nada más solo vamos a, a responder lo que lo que está en la oración, ¿verdad? Mírenme que estoy mute. Solo, solo van a, 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 a escoger la respuesta. La respuesta. Uh -huh. okay. Tienen tres opciones. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You choose the best option. Go. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Me uh, dijo que era Owner's equity. Las owner's equity is the money that is and that belongs to the owner.
Okay. Um, the first sentence I think the correct uh, answer is letter A. When you say equity, it's like saying the capitals. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. In the first sentence, teacher, I choose the letter A, auditor. Are you sure? It said they had to hire a one because Jane mm -hmm. was not qualified to produce all the documents for the auditing. For the auditing. Mm -hmm. The documents for the audit. Mm -hmm. Who's the one that has to work the documents for the audit? Um, letter B. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Accountant. Accountant. And in the second sentence is letter B2. Mm -hmm. Yes. Balance sheet. Okay. We are ready. And the second, the other two sentences? The other two. Hey, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Documento. One minute, chicos.
waiting for everybody. Eleven sequence. Nice. Nice, nice. Two sequence, one. Great. Okay. Now let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you have in the first sentence? What's the answer that you have here? Literal B, a, const, a constant. Uh -huh. That's a count. Right? B. Yeah, that's little B, exactly. A countant minus. Okay. And what about the second? It's important. It is an important accounting document showing the company's assets, liabilities, and the open score equity. Okay. And then number three, the auditor, the auditor was looking at the financial statements that the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different General A in common stain. The auditor the auditor was looking at the financial statements that the company presented him when he realized that he was actually interested in a different, he then had to ask for a different set of financial statements. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, see, he was, he was interested in a different accounting period, yeah. Imagine he was checking all the statements of, the first semester of the year, and he was interested in the last semester of the year. Okay. Um, he was hoping to be able to raise enough, enough capital. 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 Quien se quedó perdido allá en las alicas. Ya vinieron todos. Me escribieron que alguien se había quedado perdido allá. Pero no, ¿verdad? Ya volvió. ¿Quién se le había quedado perdido? Es que de repente alguien como que queda en el limbo. No, no, pero dice saliendo ya debió venir, ¿verdad? No me va a decir quién es el que se me había quedado perdido. ¿Quién es APC? APC. A ver. Andre. Andre, are you here? Andre. Creo que tiene problemas con el internet. No. Es que de repente eh, la, los, chi, los don chiquitos captura a alguien. Y ya me ha pasado que, que hay alguien que se queda y pues me dicen, checha, me dejo perdido. Y es que se lo lleva. No sé qué pasa, pero me los anda allá perdido en el limbo y al rato me lo devuelve. Pero sí, verdad, André, no sé. No sé. Okay, a ver, the last one. He was hoping to be able to raise enough to set up his own business in five years' time. Letter B. Capital, exactly. To, to have enough capital. 
Nice, nice, nice. Any questions here? No teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, remember last class, a ver, the day before yesterday, I guess, we did this and we were separating which ones we do monthly and which ones we use or we do once a year. Do you remember? A ver, a balance sheet is monthly or once a year? Monthly. Monthly, right? An income statement? Uh -huh. Income statement, monthly or once a year? Okay, it's monthly. In some companies, even they do it every day, right? They are registering all the 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 the, the sales that they do and the money that they are receiving. Okay. Equity statement. One year. Once a year. And the annual statement, of course, once a year. What about the cash flow statement? Monthly. Mm -hmm. Monthly. Monthly, yeah. Very important. Imagine if a company has problems. We let a, month, a complete year pass because we do not check the cash flow. That's very important. Okay. Um, well, we did that already. Yes. A ver. This is a balance check, you see? From the year uh, 2017, like, oof, six years ago, six years and a half. Right. Here we have the current assets, the total assets. In the current assets, you have the cash and equivalents, total current assets. And then you have the total assets that's adding the two things. Then you have the current liabilities that, in, that involves accounts payable. We yeah, are payable, total current liabilities. And you have a total, right? Uh, stockholders, equity, common stock, capital surplus, and the total of the share, the stockholder equity. <clears throat> a ver, how good are you at math? As I'm not very good. I have a calculator to check. <laughs> let's add, let's add, add the numbers. You have one million six hundred eleven thousand. Okay. Uh -huh. Make the numbers. We ya no me da la calculator. Ah. What's it total? Hmm? Total assets. Eight million thirty nineteen thousand nineteen thousand. Eight million ninety one thousand. Yes. Okay. 
But I want to show you something. Let me see. Check. You have two. Two. Then 42. 242. 3,242. 3 million, 242 million. Sí, hoy va a ser million, pero seis. Cuando tenemos tres, es thousand. Cuando tenemos seis, es million. Sí. 3,242 million. Sí, de acuerdo. Vale, vamos a ver con estos números más feos. ¿Cuánto sería aquí? 1,611 million. ¿Sí? Vaya, vale, veamos otra vez. 242, 242, 3,242. 3,242 million. ¿Sí? Está más fácil, ¿verdad? Se lo voy a poner en el chat. Para que se este, lo puedan ver. Cuando vamos, cuando vamos a ir diciendo los números. Veamos. Bye. A ver, a ver. So we say. One thousand, one thousand six hundred eleven million. Six thousand four hundred eighty million. Y eso suma? Eight thousand ninety one. Eight thousand. Ajá, eight thousand ninety one million. Million. Vaya, a ver, eight thousand ninety one million. Ninety one lleva thousand también, ¿verdad, Richard? Eight thousand. Y fue para millions. Eh, no. Le vamos a poner thousand solo al ocho. Bueno. Es que aquí sería. Nairi House estaría. Ajá. Eight thousand. Nairi one. Mil. Si el punto, si la coma estuviera aquí, sería eighty thousand. ¿Verdad? 80,091. Y aquí los seis ceros. Mil. Es que es millón por los seis ceros. ¿Verdad? 80,091 millones. 8,091 millones. Sí. Y nos quedamos en thousand cuando solo tenemos tres cifras acá. Si yo tuviera um, 410, 242, aquí va Sería 410,242. Cada, cada tres. Vaya, cheque. Vamos a ponerlo. 410, el 100. 410,242. 410,242. Es una forma de recordarse cuándo va 1,000, cuándo va 100. 410,242. Y aquí le ponemos el chorrito de ceros. Mil. Bueno. 
$810,242 billion. ¿De acuerdo? Vaya, vamos a ver un poquito más. What about this one? We have the total liabilities. Four hundred, no, four thousand four hundred eighty-three million plus nine thousand eight hundred fifty-six million. Remember, four thousand. This is thousand. This is hundred. Okay, thousand. Four thousand four hundred eighty three million nine thousand eight hundred fifty six million. What is the, the adding? Four thousand. What's the adding? How would you say that number? Digamos si está buena la suma. Sí, 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 sí. Ajá. How would you how do you say that number? What's the total the total liabilities? Fourteen. Fourteen thousand. Uh -huh. Thirty-nine hundred hundred millions. Eh, eh, cuesta, yo sé, cuesta. Los números dan problema. <coughs> a ver, a ver. Este está más fácil. Miren, 867 million. Plus 2,584 million. El million es por los seis ceritos. Vaya, si usted se concentra en los primeros números, se le va a hacer más fácil. 1,611. 6,408. 8,000. Si le borre los últimos tres ceros, entonces solo sería 1,000. Uh, eh, Cuando dice usted 1,000. Si Vaya, póngale que decimos así. Me voy a inventar un número, ¿verdad? Porque no me acuerdo. Ay. Así. Entonces aquí sería 1,640,000. million. 640,000. Porque el millón, después del millón hay seis dígitos. ¿Verdad? Después del millón hay seis dígitos. Y aquí los seis dígitos están incluyendo estos tres. Entonces el millón, en acá solo es un millón. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos 3,242 millones, pero si le borramos estos tres ceros, solo va a ser 3,242,000. Sí. Ok. Entonces sería 1,640,000. 640,000. Sí. <clears throat> Any questions here? 
¿Estamos bien allí? ¿Sí? No son así números que, wow, ¿verdad? Como ocupamos cada rato, pero es bueno conocerlos. ¿Quién sabe? Algún día nos ganemos la lotería. <ríe> Vamos a poder decir la cifra en inglés. <ríe> ok, vaya. A ver, the last one, you have. 867,000, no, million. Ah, teacher. 867 million plus 2,584 million. De acuerdo. A ver, can you make numbers? ¿Cuánto sería eso? 867 million plus 2,584 million. 3,000. Ah, 3,000. 4,000. 51 million. Exactly. Yes. Nice. Así es. Correcto. Correcto. Sí. Any questions here? Um, any questions? No questions. Any questions? No, did you? Okay. But John. Okay, now let's answer these questions. Question. Read again. Right, you can see the information again if necessary. And then you tell me how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? Assets, liabilities. What's the total? And then if we add a 167 million plus 2,584 million, the result is, we did it already, right? Mm -hmm. Coming in a minute while you finish and then check.
Okay, let's see. Are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. Number one, how much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? What's the total, Chiefs? What's the total of assets? Hi, hi. Hello. Forty thousand three hundred. Uh huh. Three hundred thirty-nine millions. Okay, that's the liabilities and the assets. A thousand. 90, 91 millions. Exactly. And the other one, number two. What about the other? 867 million plus 2,584 million. Three thousand four hundred fifty-one million. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nice, nice, excellent, chicos. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we're going to talk about the and we're going to move right to talk about the the grammar point that we have for today. And it's the conditional, like what I told you, right? Conditional type zero. Conditional type zero is the easiest conditional. Check. What you have to do is this. When you complete a sentence using the conditional. You know, we have two parts in the conditional. One, that is the if, if clause. The if clause is all this. All the part that follows if, right? That's the if clause. So the if clause can be as the second part of the sentence or as the first part of the sentence. If we put it at the beginning, the if clause is a, how can I say? If we put it at the beginning, we need a comma here. Ouch, we need a comma. If we put it at the beginning, we use a comma, right? We need to use a comma. If we put it at the end, like the second sentence, we do not need a comma, okay? Now we have, what do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low, very low assets, we have to even up prices. Or we have to even up prices if we have low assets. So you can play with the order of the clauses. But if you put the if clause at the beginning, you separate the two clauses by a point. If you put the if clause at second, you don't need a comma. Mm -hmm. Check the examples. The sentence can be affirmative or can be negative. When we use this structure of the zero conditional, when we know exactly what happens when we do something, right? For example, if I say, if I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. I know myself. I know that that always happens to me. If I don't drink coffee, I get a headache. See? So you know, 
If you do something, you know what happens. You know the results. In that, that is the zero conditional. So I have here present, present. If I don't eat breakfast, I can have. If I don't drink coffee, I get ahead. If I don't take a nap in the afternoon, I feel tired in class. If I go to bed after 1 a.m., I have problems to fall asleep. I know that that happens to me, right? So, when I when I use zero conditional, I perfectly know the result, right? I know the result of that situation. That's why I use the present. We have another structure. Well, you can perfectly put it into mm, negative, negative, affirmative, 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 negative. That's the matter. It depends on what you want to say. If you say, if I eat too much, I get a stomachache. If I eat too much, I cannot sleep. If I drink too much coffee, um, I don't sleep. Right, so that you know what happens to you. So you know uh, what will be the result of that activity that you're doing, right? Now, um, in this case, we can also substitute if with when. And look at the example. Uh, where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. Family is contado como singular hoy. Por eso, aunque digamos, pero family es un montón de gente. Sí, pero family is singular. So that's why I have the verb in the third person. That's something very important to pay attention to in this structure. As you use in present, present, you have to pay attention to the verb that it has to be with S if the subject is third person, right? So you have, when my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. See, when my, if my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. So the meaning is the same in this context, in this context. My family goes to the bank if they need a loan. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. Mm -hmm. Any question up to there? Questions? No question. Question. Oh, in this class, no de... in Spanish, in, in present. El que? Los verbos. The verb has to be in present. Lo todo. Lo todo, sí. En este conditional, sí. Tenemos, no importa si es negativo o si es afirmativo, ¿verdad? Si yo digo, if I don't eat, I don't eat. Cheque, estoy usando el auxiliar para present. If I don't eat breakfast, mm -hmm. I get ahead. If Maria doesn't eat breakfast, she gets ahead. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Entonces, lo que yo hago es poner el auxiliar y en present. ¿Verdad? En tercera persona. Si voy a usar acá una tercera persona. If María. Y si ocupo María. Ya no puedo decir don't. Tengo que decir doesn't. If María doesn't eat breakfast. She gets a headache. Yes. Ya vamos a hacer más ejemplos al respecto. Entonces, 
Si usted cambia el subject para he o she, su verbo va a tener que llevar es, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de present, present. ¿Sí? Lo mismo pasa cuando está usando when. When Maria doesn't eat breakfast, she gets, she gets a headache. ¿Sí? So you have doesn't, gets. Si ocupo I, I don't. Pero si ocupo she, she doesn't. I get, but she gets. Eso es bien importante. En la dos, en if o en when. Right? Acuérdense, when en este contexto que significa igual que el if para el sirvo conditional, solo para el sirvo. No puedo re reemplazar if por when con los demás conditional, solamente cuando estoy usando el sirvo conditional. Ok. Vaya, vi que corregí a alguien más, habló, no sé qué otra preguntita tienen por allí. ¿Quién más tenía preguntita? ¿Vi por ahí alguna otra pregunta? No, pues. Asumo que no, ¿verdad? No, pues. Vale, Tenemos nuestro chorazo. If las present simple, después el result, las present simple. We say this conditional is used when the result will always happen. Si usted ya sabe que al no comer eh, le va a doler la cabeza, Es ese conditional I can't go back, right? Es algo que siempre pasa. This conditional is used when there is always, will always happen. ¿De acuerdo? The if in this conditional can, you, can usually be replaced by when, que es lo que les decía, ¿verdad? If. En este caso, I can replace if with when, without changing the mean. The mean is the same. And look at the examples. If water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. That is always true. If water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. Mm -hmm. If I eat peanuts, I'm sick. That is true for that person, right? If I eat penance, I'm sick. See, this is true only for me. Maybe for another person, no, but for me, yes. But in the, fir in the first one, if water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. It is always true. It cannot be different, not different at all, because that's science, right? Now. Check the examples. If I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. If I don't drink water before going to bed, I cannot sleep. Do you know that that will always happen? If I wake up in the middle of the night, I have to drink water to go back to sleep. I cannot sleep when I don't drink water before going to bed. I cannot sleep if I don't drink water before going to bed. I feel sleepy if I don't drink coffee in the morning. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. A todas se les puede dar vuelta, ¿verdad? Lo que va acá en el if It can be different from the result. ¿Sí? Puede poner primero la if clause y después el result, o puede poner primero el result y después la if clause. And there is no difference. Question. Question. 
Not much. No. But okay, I have a couple more of examples here. What happens if people eat too much? If people eat too much, they get fat. If you touch a fire, you get born. You know that that will always happen. People die if they don't eat. See? Nobody will survive without eating forever. You get water if you mix hydrogen and oxygen. Snakes bite if they are scared. If babies are hungry, they bite. You know this things will always happen. That's the zero condition. No questions. Silencio, Torca, assuming can you. But I'm going to share this sentence no, for you to work. No, we are going to have 13 sentences. We have enough time to do them. It's, ah, yes, perfect. But I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to share the sentences in the chat, in WhatsApp chat. Okay. Bye. There are us. Let's complete and when we come back. We will check and bueno, for los que trabajan super, super, super rapid. As you finish, you can go to the manual, right? Porque siempre hay algún grupo que va así como que los demás no han, no han terminado, pero hay un grupo que sí. They check. When you finish with the sentences, se van a esto. What do you do if you have extra money? If you have extra money, aquí pone el nombre de su compañero. Erling. Erling. Y dice Erling. If I have extra money, I save it. <laughs> sí, verdad. Okay, if I have extra money, I save it. Or see, Erlin, they say, if I have extra money, I buy a pair of shoes. If I have extra money, I, I buy more food. Or if I buy, if I have extra money, I give it to my mother. Okay, so you decide, right? You, you give your answer that as soon as you finish asking, Completing the other sentences, you come to do this in the man. De acuerdo? Yes. Yes. What do you do if you have free time? What do you do if you need extra money? What do you do if you wake up very late? And what do you do if you are on vacation? Bueno. Let's go. Join the groups and let's work. Don't join. Maria, Oscar, Sylvia, Alexa. Let me check if you can enter. La, la 19. Creo que es similar a esto, pero igual no, no lo he podido realizar. Ajá, yo solo pude hacer una. De la, de la 19. 
Sí. ¿Cuál hiciste? La primera. ¿Cómo le pusiste? Ah, Es similar no. a eso. If, Sí, if no, es I... igual, a, es igual a eso. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le pusiste? El, es, if I wake up late, I, I am. I am be late for work. Mm, okay. ah, vaya, este, Andrei, sí, el, el, el B ya sabe que el B cuando lo conjuga con I es I am. Ajá. Entonces ya no le pone B, ya no dice I am B. Sí, no, ajá, no, I am. Ya se le coloca am. Ajá. Ajá, sí, solo la, o sea, es que ajá. En, el, en la plataforma, o sea, yo hice la primera y me quedó bien, que es esa. Pero ya la segunda no, o sea, las demás no supe cómo hacerlas. Vaya, todas van así. Present, 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 present. Oye, ya no a ver. Uh -huh. Démosle rapidito a este porque sospecho yo, sospecho que es como el ejercicio que está al final, que no será al final. Sí, es eh, la unidad 19, creo que es 19 o 20. Uh -huh. no, la 19. Sí, es la tarea 19. Uh -huh. Pero como generalmente, generalmente eh, los ejercicios que le ponen en la tarea son los mismos, bien igualitos a los del manual. Entonces, ese lo vamos a hacer ya al, al regresar de los grupitos, ¿verdad? Entonces, denle, okay. ¿verdad? denle con estos y al salir de acá, que vamos a revisar esta tarea, tenemos 20 minutos de minutos. Eh, vamos a, okay. a, a checar ese otro ejercicio que, que nos falta. Teacher, una pregunta. Mira, ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos clase? Mañana. We finish tomorrow. Mañana es la última clase. Ah, Juan Madre. Sí. <risa> <risa> Teacher, pues, quizás, quizás yo me disculpe. Desde ahorita, quizás mañana no me pueda conectar. Trataré de hacerlo, pero... Mañana ya estaré en Colombia, Dios mediante. No voy a ok, okay. Vaya, Andrei, si, es, ¿Sí? eh, si no lograse conectarse, ya sabe cómo llenar la carta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, tranquila, no te preocupes que la encuesta llega ahí. <risa> a ver, perfecto. Sí, porque eso es lo que siempre nos piden. Así para que la mande la captura de que sí la hizo ahí al, al grupo. Okay. Sin embargo, trataré de conectarme. Sí, ojalá que sí. Ok, entonces vamos con los ejercicios, muchachos. Sí, continuemos. <ríe> Intentemos realizarlo. Gracias, ya al menos el primero ya lo tengo. <ríe> sí, remember <ríe> that is zero, es present, present, ¿verdad? Present, present. Okay. Por ejemplo, if I wake up late, I am late for work. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y, la, y la segunda sería, es, if my, hus my husband cook, cooks, he born, ahí tienen he que cooks. considerar terceras personas. If ah, my husband okay. cooks. Ah. Y la otra es, he burns, he burns the food. He burns the food, exactly. Ok. Me van a depender el computador de una vez. Sí, para hacerlas. Por favor, háganlas si me dejan la copia. Ya, ya salió la segunda. Ah, bueno, ya hay moral. No, ya. es que sí. Sí, ahí tienen que tener presente ustedes si su sujeto es, es tan... En, en tercera persona tiene que ponerle ese al verbo, si no se lo va a poner mal. Sí. Okay. Si no, no sabía eso. Ok, perfecto. Pero, Waves. Ah. Ahí está la oh, teacher. Hello. No, no teacher. Sí, es que no, no, no tenemos muy claro, porque dice, if I. Pero para poner el condicional, si no. Vaya, acuérdense de la estructura que hemos visto. Que dijimos que se completa present, present. ¿Sí? ¿Cuál sería la forma presente ahí del verbo wake? 
If I walk. Saying wait. Uh -huh. If I wake up late. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I be late. Ah, con el Nada, Margarito. Mira, Mucho cuidado. Mm. Oye, Melvin. Mm. I, I, am, I am late. I am late, exactly. If I wake up late, I am late for work. I am late for work. Mm -hmm. A ver, la number two. Second, if, if my husband cook, cook, burn, burn the food. My husband is my husband cook. Cook. Sí. Is my he, husband cook. Burn, Como my burn. husband is he, ¿verdad? Es tercera persona, le vamos a poner ese al verbo. If my husband cooks, he uh -huh. burns. Burns the food. Exactly. If my husband cooks, he burns the food. Mm -hmm. If Julie not wear a hat, he gets sunstroke. If Julie, if Julie don't, don't wear. Usamos don't. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, wear a hat, she gets sunstruck. She gets sunstruck, exactly. Mm -hmm. If children, eh, children, in this este case, would be singular, right? Children is plural. Child is singular. Ah, pero para conjugarlo. Eh... ¿Se toma como tercera persona? No. No. No, porque es plural. Es como que ocupe de ahí. Ajá, es como que estuviera ocupando de ahí. If children don't. Ajá. If children don't eat well. ¿Cuál sería el otro en negativo? They were. In present? We're not. In present? Present? Don't. Negative, pero present. They aren't. They aren't. They aren't. Uh -huh. they they aren't. aren't healthy. Aren't. Uh -huh. They aren't healthy. They aren't healthy. You? It's you mix. Mix. You mix 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 water Wait. water and electricity. You get a chop. If you mix water and electricity, you, you... get a shock. You get a shock. See, imagine get this. <laughs> if you make water, if you make water than electricity, mm -hmm. you get a check. Number six, if people eat, if people uh, eat too many if sweets, eat much too many sweets, if you mix, they no, get, if people eat too many candies, they. <laughs> They get fat. They get fat. Exactly. Vaya, let's go to the number seven. Yes. You mm. smoke. Smoke. You get yellow. If you smoke, you get, you get yellow finger. You figure. 
Mm -hmm. You get yellow fingers, right? His children plays. Play. His children play. Outside. They. They are. Mm -hmm. They. No, they. They don't don't get. They don't get. No. They don't, they don't get over. Over way. Over way. It's you. It's. 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 Acuérdense, cada vez que tengan tercera persona, esa va a llevar... La el... S. Exacto. Entonces, el it melts lleva S. It melts. It melts. I speak. If I... I no puede llevar S, ¿verdad? No. No. If I, if I speak, John, he gets annoyed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I speak to John, if I speak he, to her, he gets annoyed. Uh -huh. exactly. He gets annoyed. Exactly. I feel good. I feel good. I feel I feel good. The next day if I the next day, the next day, I I I go no. if I go to bed early. To be early. If I go to bed early, yes. Nice, nice. But yeah, one more minute. Ah, uh, oh, you're missing the other one, right? You're still missing the other one. Um, perdón. People is plural. People is plural, sí. Lots of people. Lots of come. Come. Yeah. If Jenny Lots of people come. Has if Jenny pala. has. Has a pal. Ajá, tercera persona. He buys. She goes shopping. She goes shopping. It buys expenses clothes if they and she goes shopping. Go shopping. Sí. Buy expensive clothes. Buy expensive shopping. Clothes. If she goes shopping, she buys expensive clothes. If she goes shopping, nice. Oh, she goes shopping. Yes.
I'm incoming. 10 seconds. Nice. I guess everybody back. Vamos a ver. Okay. Uh, number one, if I... If, if I, I wake, wake up... up uh, if I wake up, remember present, ¿verdad? If I, I am wake up... Late, I am late. I am late for work. If my husband cooks, cooks, cooks. If my husband cooks, he burns. Burns. Forms the food. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, doesn't. Tercera persona. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets gets someone. Some strong. Tercera persona, ¿verdad? If children If children ¿Qué? Don't notas That's eight If children don't eat, porque children es plural, el singular es child, ¿verdad? If children don't eat well, they, they qué? Mm -hmm. Are not. They aren't. Sí, vamos a poner la contra. They are in health. If you mm -hmm. if ah, if you can. If you mix water and electricity, what happens? Get. Get. Sin ese porque you, ¿verdad? Okay. You get chalk. If people If people, if people, hola, if people, todavía estamos por ahí, chicos. If people eat too many sweets. Okay. If people eat too many sweets, they... They get fat. Uh -huh. They get fat. Number seven. If, if, if you, you smoke, smoke. If you smoke. You. If you smoke, you get, you get yellow finger. Uh -huh. 
you get yellow fingers. If children, if children, then play. If children plays. Play. Acuérdense que children play. Ah. ¿verdad? If ah. children play outside, they. They qué? Negative. They don't, don't get exactly. overweight. They don't get overweight. Uh -huh. If you if you hit if you hit ice if you hit ice it's it qué? Uh, it melts. It melts, right? Mm -hmm. If you hit ice, it melts. If I... Teacher, ¿por qué en ese caso es melts? Porque el it es tercera persona. Ah, uh, he, she, sí. Uh -huh, she, she, she. Yeah. If I... If I speak... If I speak to John, speak to John, he, he gets annoyed. Uh -huh, exactly. Imagine it, John. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. Right. I feel good. I feel good the next day. If I If I go to bed early, Here. so people come. Come if Jenny, Jenny has, has a party. Has a party. She buy. She buys expensive clothes. If she go. Yes. Bye. We're going to move quickly to this sentence. Let's complete it. They are very similar to the ones you have in the, in the assignment, right in the homework. A ver, if I wake up late, if I wake up late, I am late for work. I am late for work. If my son, Burns. Burns, ¿verdad? With S, burns the food. Mm -hmm. If he cooks alone. Cook. If employees don't eat well, they don't eat well. They are not healthy. They are not healthy. When, aquí, when, when she, Pays. Pays her bills on time. She doesn't have. She doesn't have to pay extra money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If the incomes, if the incomes are good, are good, an employee. An employee receives with us, right? Receives a bond. A bond. We receive. We, sell. we sell more products when we know we the customer needs. When we know the customer needs. I stop. Very good. Vaya, check it. 
for the ones that are already in the platform and that you have been trying hard to do the homework, I'm going to tell you something. Then, uh, in this case, you have to write the whole sentence, the complete sentence, no solo la palabra que falta para completar la oye. Si no mal recuerdo. We were checking that with somebody is this. If you say, if I wake up, if I wake up late, don't forget the comma, don't forget to begin with a capital letter. I am late for work. Y le ponemos period al final. Vamos a ver si se sale muy. Ah, que no me sale muy. No sé por qué. If, I'm, if I wake up late, I'm late for work. Oh, qué chistosa mi comienzo. Va. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Así como estuvimos haciendo las oraciones ahorita, así las van a hacer. Pero las van a escribir, acuérdense, cuando llevan es, ¿verdad? Acuérdense cuando llevan es. Ay, babes, ya ven, son justo las que acabamos de hacer, ¿verdad? Son justo estas que acabamos de hacer. ¿Sí? If I wake up late, I am late for work. Pero tienen que escribir la oración todita, no solo lo que falta, ¿verdad? If my son burns the food, he cooks alone. No, well, my son burns the food if he cooks alone. Sí. Pues ahí lo que van a hacer en la plataforma es escribir todita la oración completa. Don't forget the capital letter at the beginning and don't forget the period at the end. Y cuando son negativos, eh, si hay forma, copie el apóstrofe de otro ejercicio que esté por allí porque ya sabe, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le va a dar problema? Eh, porque el apóstrofe solo se los toma. Se lo voy a poner, se lo voy a poner ahí en el, en el chat. Hoy. Y este, ese mismo apóstrofe que yo le voy a pegar, ustedes de ahí lo pueden copiar para ocuparlo en las otras versiones donde tiene que ir negativo. Porque se da la situación que el apóstrofe jamás se lo va a aceptar hoy de acuerdo alguna pregunta chicos no no questions no questions no okay perfecto hoy sí verdad ya saben cómo hacer este ejercicio vamos a ver si en el número cuatro ahí es. Si han corregido esto que le faltaba. Hay algunas que como que son diferentes, pero la mayoría están así. Ok. Bueno. Take care then. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Nos falta la última sentencia. <laughs> ok, vamos a ver. Tell me present. Tell me present before we leave. Eh, Alexa? Here, Alexa. Present teacher. Yeah. Ok. Ana Luisa? Present teacher. Good. André? Present teacher. Angie? Adeli, Erling, 
Irma Noemi. Irma. Irma Noemi. No recuerdo haberla visto. ¿Alguien vio a Irma Noemi? Yes, teacher. Yes. ¿La vieron ustedes? Yes. yes. Ah, bueno. Sí, 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 sí. Eh, Carla Milena. Present teacher. María. Marta. Mauricio. Present teacher. Present teacher. Nancy. Present. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. And William. Present teacher. See you, see you. I am not. Okay, see you tomorrow. Remember, we finish tomorrow, ¿verdad? Mañana hay que llenar la carta de satisfacción. No la vayan a llenar solitos. La llenamos juntos en clase. Generalmente tipo ocho y medio. Hoy. Ok, teacher. Bye. 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 See you, teacher. See you, see you. Take care. Gracias por todo este periodo, teacher. Si no te veo mañana. Okay, okay. Thank you. Enjoy your trip. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Take care.